The best killer Santa Claus movies. This is Nerdist Now. Ah, December. The air is crisp, gifts are expensive, and there's nothing we love more than settling in with a good old Christmas movie. But what if you, like me, like a little fear with your festive? Well, one option is austere British ghost stories. Click the link in the bio for those. Another option is the many horror films in which Santa is far more naughty than nice. Yes, we're looking at some of our favorite killer Santa Claus movies. Some of these are just murderers in Santa Claus outfits. Some are the real jolly old elf himself, but they all splatter that red suit with some more festive colors. More red. Blood. Silent Night, Deadly Night. We start with what I'm gonna go ahead and say is the least cheerful Christmas movie ever made. You hear that, love, actually? You're number two now. 1984's Silent Night, Deadly Night has everything you could possibly want in a trashy Santa slasher movie. Childhood trauma, annoying capitalists, Linnea Quigley topless for no reason, it's the trifecta. But what really sets this movie apart from its contemporaries is the sheer brutality of Billy, our beefy young orphan turned toy store employee turned ax wielding murderer. He's tragic, fairly likable, and yet is still incredibly scary once he goes off. While the sequel gave us one of the internet's best clips, Carpet Day! Huh? No! The original is the classic. Santa's Sleigh. Homonyms are fun, aren't they? The concept behind this one is pretty great. Santa Claus is a demon who lost a curling match, yes, it's a Canadian movie, against an angel who curses him to 1,000 years of delivering toys to children. But what happens when that 1,000 years is up? Lots of Yuletide violence is what happens. What makes this bloody comedy the most fun is the casting of pro wrestler Bill Goldberg as Santa, who absolutely annihilates people in Alberta in the most thematically hilarious way. And who would have thought Chris Kattan, Fran Drescher, and James Caan would all be in the same 78 minute horror movie? It's not good, but it is a lot of fun. Christmas Evil. Love a pun title. This 1980 slasher has the dubious distinction of being one of the infamous video nasties. In 1947, a kid sees his mommy, uh, kissing Santa Claus? And this traumatizes him to the point that 33 years later, he glues a beard to his face and goes on a killing spree. Unlike a lot of Christmas horror movies, this one takes aim at the hypocrisy we often see, with the promoted ideals of charity and kindness going up against the off-scene moments of greed and cruelty. Talk about naughty and nice. Boo. There's a very weird dreamlike quality to Christmas Evil that sets it apart from other Christmas horror movies. And it ends in a strange sci-fi moment. And this was before Repo Man, mind you. It's a grimy, grody, and sort of glorious movie that John Waters loves. High praise. Tales from the Crypt. Long before the cackling Crypt Keeper hit HBO, a British anthology horror movie from 1972 adapted several of the classic EC comics into a delightfully macabre mashup. The first story of which, and all through the house, is what we're discussing here. It finds Joan Collins murdering her husband on Christmas Eve while her daughter awaits Santa Claus upstairs. At the same time, the radio says a homicidal maniac has escaped from an asylum up the road. Note to everyone, don't live down the road from an asylum in an EC comic story. Well, as you probably guessed, especially if you've seen the TV adaptation from the 90s, that the murderer arrives at the house wearing a Santa Claus suit. It's an exciting and scary little vignette that is arguably the movie's best. Dial Code Santa Claus. We could not be more grateful this undiscovered 1989 French movie made it to our shores in 2018. It's really one of the more amazing and enjoyably strange entries on the list. Imagine, if you will, the movie Home Alone. But instead of a suburban kid, it's Richie Rich, who's obsessed with Rambo. And instead of the wet bandits, it's the Santa-suited murderer from Tales from the Crypt. That's what you get in Dial Code Santa Claus, the best of its roughly 37,000 titles. The rich genius kid has to save his sickly grandpa from a truly terrifying Santa slasher while his mom is out for the evening. Oh, traps? You want traps? We got you traps! The movie is so close to Home Alone, in fact, that the writer-director of Dial Code Santa Claus sued the makers of Home Alone for essentially, he said, remaking his movie. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty darn close. Watch this one for yourself to decide. And that is our list of the best killer Santas in movies. But tell us, what do you think? Which Santa-themed horror movie is your favorite? Did we miss any big ones? Does anybody want to double feature Christmas Evil and New Year's Evil? Let us know in the comments below, and for more of the latest and greatest in the world of pop culture, stay tuned to Nerdist.com. Happy holidays, everyone.